small, elegant, and lively. The Russian toy, also known as the Rushki toy, is a dog that loves to snuggle and remain close to their human companions. They are active and cheerful dogs possessing keen intelligence and a desire to please. These dogs love to dash and play around the house and the yard, but at the end of the day, they enjoy nothing more than lounging around your lap knowing that they are the prized jewel in your home. If you are considering adding a Russian toy dog to your family and want to know more about the breed, well, you have come to the right place. In this video today, we are going to take a look at the top 10 interesting facts about the Russian toy. But before we start our list, we would like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Russian toy owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History the history of Russian toy began with English stock and dates back as early as 18th century when the English toy terrier arrived in Russia. During the 18th century, it became popular to import English toy terriers into Russia. It was quite stylish to appear in public with a well-behaved small terrier at social events and the opera. At the beginning of the 20th century, the number of these toy dogs had grown and the breed was no longer a rarity but had become a symbol of prestige. However, the breed was no longer referred to as the English Toy Terrier. In Russia, it was simply referred to as the Russian Toy Terrier. The Russian Revolution of 1917 nearly exterminated these dogs. The breeding of dogs for companionship was brought to a halt and the fate of Russian Toy had become uncertain. After the death of Stalin, a concentrated effort was made in several regions in the Soviet Union to restore the Russian Toy to prominence. On 12th of October 1958, two smooth-haired dogs, one of which had slightly long hair, gave life to a male dog with a spectacular fringe on its ears and limbs. This son of a pair of smooth-coated parents became the foundation of the modern-day long-coat Russian toy. The first official standard for the two breed varieties was written in 1966. In the 1980s, a new breed standard declared that the Moscow Long-Haired Toy Terrier and the Russian Toy Terrier were in fact two varieties of a single breed. In 2006, with the Russian Toy's provisional addition to the FCI list of recognized breeds, the Terrier was dropped from the breed's name and were simply called the Russian Toy, for both long and smooth coat varieties. And in the year 2017, the breed was finally accepted by the FCI on a definitive basis. The breed was only recently recognized by the AKC into the toy group in the year 2022. Number 2. They are quite rare Russian toys are actually quite a rare breed outside of Russia. In fact, these dogs were almost unknown outside of Russia until the 1990s. The breed was also almost completely wiped out during the Russian Revolution in the early 20th century. Russian breeders brought back the Russian toys by adding other small dog breeds into the breeding pool. As we said earlier, Russian toys were only recognized in the toy group by the AKC in the year 2022, which clearly shows that these dogs haven't gained much publicity. According to the AKC, there are only about 775 Russian toys in the US. Number 3. Their Temperament the Russian Toy is an active and cheerful breed originally bred both as an anti-rat dog and an alarming dog. Yep, that's right, these dogs would serve as a living alarm clock for the Russian aristocrats. As a result of their original function of acting as an alarm clock, these dogs can be very vocal. They are also very family-oriented, creating deep bonds with their family regardless of the age of the family members. Russian Toys are also very loyal to their owners, always ready to protect them from any perceived danger. These dogs love playing around and being outdoors. You'll often find your Russian toy darting around the house and the yard. But the most noticeable and lovable thing about this breed is their cuddly nature. Russian toys absolutely enjoy cuddling with their loved ones. These dogs would enjoy nothing more than spending the day lounging upon their owner's lap. If you've decided getting a Russian toy, then I'm sure you'll fall in love with your new pup instantly. Number 4. Their Training The Russian toy packs a lot of personality into its tiny body. These dogs are agreeable and eager to please, making them very trainable. However, they are still terriers at heart, so they can be stubborn sometimes. Their agile nature, clown-like antics, and outgoing friendly personality make them great candidates for agility and trick dog competition. While the Russian toy is loving around their family, they could be a bit standoffish towards strangers. Because of this, socializing a Russian toy puppy with new people and animals is super important. As with any dog, positive reinforcement training works the best and the Russian toys are no exception. Make sure that the training sessions are short and non-repetitive. Following the same training session might bore your dog, which could lead to destructive behavior. After they complete their task, make sure to praise them. Give them lots of love and attention. And of course, don't forget to give them tasty treats too. Number 5. Their Appearance With a small body and large round eyes, the Russian toy dog is sometimes mistaken for a chihuahua. Their bodies are square and compact and they have small narrow heads with large round doe-like eyes hinting that they are gentle but playful pups. 
Originating in Russia, these tiny dogs tip around 6 pounds and are usually between 8 and 11 inches tall. Their coat comes in two varieties, smooth coated with a short, shiny, clothesline coat and long coated with a longer coat and profuse feathering in the ears, legs and tail. The feathering or fringe on the ear should completely outline the ear so as not to show where the ear ends and where the fringe begins. Small strands of hair around the ears aren't considered to be correctly fringed. Russian toy dogs can come in a variety of coat colors including black and tan, red sable, red and black, and brown and tan. Blue and tan or lilac and tan can also be seen, but these colorings are rather rare as they come with some health issues such as alopecia X, a skin condition in dogs resulting in non-inflammatory hair loss. In the dogs that have tan points, the coloring is usually on their cheeks, chest, and above their eyes. Many Russian toy dogs also have splashes of tan on their legs and feet. Number 6. Their Grooming Regardless of your Russian toy's coat's length, they'll shed some of their coat. However, they aren't heavy shedders. They shed minimally, usually only when brushing, and you're likely to find a few hair strands around the house. Still, regular grooming is essential for your Russian toy's proper look, health, and well-being. The shorter-haired dogs with smooth coats shed less, and the grooming routine for this breed is an easy one. They have short, close-lying, shiny hair without an undercoat or fringes. Regular weekly brushing with a soft brush along with occasional baths is recommended to keep the smooth coat free of dead hair and flaky skin. A daily chamois wipe down adds luster to the coat too. The long-haired variety on the other hand requires more grooming than the smooth coated one for obvious reasons. The long coat has body hair almost 1 to 3 inches long. Their ears are covered with thick long hair forming a fringe and there are distinct feathers on the rear side of the limbs. Therefore, the long-haired Russian toy should be brushed two to three times per week and the fringes should be kept free of debris. Monthly baths with high-quality shampoo and conditioner are usually enough to keep the coat healthy. Number 7. Their Exercise The Russian toy is considered a moderately high-energy breed. They require regular exercise, which should include at least three walks each 20 to 30 minutes, totaling around 60 to 90 minutes per day to keep them healthy and happy. Setting apart a separate playtime is also viable, but only if your Russian toy is up for it. These dogs adore going on walks with their humans and love to run and play until they collapse in your lap for a long snuggle. Because small dogs have more fragile necks and tracheas than large dogs, it is recommended that a leash be attached to a harness instead of a collar when walking your Russian toy. It is also recommended that you do not leave a collar or harness on your Russian while in your home. Number 8. Their Care Russian toys enjoy running and exploring new scents. When going on walks, make sure your Russian toy pup is always close by and train them to not wander off whenever they smell anything interesting. Their physical requirements include a solid 60 to 90 minutes of exercise, usually three walks each day, which is enough to wear them out and keep them happy. In addition to the physical exercise, pet owners gotta provide the Russian toy dogs with mental workouts too. They enjoy playing, especially with humans, and they prefer to play with their loved ones over their toys. Brain exercise can be things like hide-and-seek or a puzzle toy filled with yummy treats. Interactive toys such as puzzle toys filled with yummy treats and games such as hide-and-seek are great ways to give your pup the mental stimulation they need. Number 9. Their Health The Russian toy has a typical life expectancy of 10 to 12 years, according to the RTCA. However, some of these dogs even live long lives of 15 years or more. The breed is still susceptible to some health problems though. Russian toys can be prone to dental diseases as their small mouths can cause overcrowding of teeth. Periodontal diseases due to tartar and bacteria buildup is a common health issue for the Russian toy. If left untreated, it can cause serious problems for your dog including gingivitis, bleeding gums, and tooth loss. So it is important that you brush your Russian toy's teeth daily. These dogs are also susceptible to luxating patella, a condition in which the patella or kneecap dislocates or moves out of its normal location. Leg-borne fractures may also occur if your Russian toy jumps off of high places. So it is recommended that you have some sort of step or soft landing pad for your pup to land on while jumping off of sofas, beds, or any spot too high for them. Generally speaking, Russian toys shouldn't jump off of places that they're unable to jump up on easily. However, with proper care and regular visits to the vet, most of these health ailments can be kept in check so there is not much to worry about. While getting a new pup from a breeder, ask for the health screening results of the pup's parents and if the parents haven't had any serious health complications, it should be fine for you to get the pup. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition A Russian toy will need to eat quality dog food. These little dogs can be prone to obesity, especially when fed lots of treats, so it's important to choose a food and portion size that's appropriate for your individual dog. The breed does well on high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared with their veterinarian supervision and approval. Clean, fresh water should be available at all times for drinking. If you're preparing the dog food at home, just make sure you don't add any human food that is harmful to dogs. As for treats, they can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Feeding Russian toys small, low-calorie treats can also help with weight management, but regular exercise is important too. Don't forget to check with your vet if you have any concerns about your dog's weight or diet.
All right, folks, with that, we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Russian toy. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these cute little dogs, do let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.